All right, guys. So just real quick, um, I decided uh, I got rid of uh, one of the other radios, and I got rid of the FTDX 1200, and really didn't care for the display on it. Uh, I put away the other 3000. Don't really care for the display on that. Um, I've owned a couple of 7300s. The first one, the um, USB quit working on the back of it, and the people at ICOM were absolute dicks to me on the phone, and so. I got mad and got rid of the radio, traded it to my friend who didn't care, and I got the FT-102 that's been Malcolmized from him, and then that, that radio later on, about a year later, completely quit working. He was using it on AM and stuff like that, and um, the finals went out, and he sent it to get repaired, and they were never able to repair the USB for some reason, um, and because that guess uh, that radio was bought in 2019. Um, at the time that he tried to get it repaired, um, the parts were no longer available for that particular version. But anyway, so then I bought another one because I wanted a radio with a, you know, display. I kept that one for about a year and I sold that one for $800 and I bought an FT991A, which was really a big disappointment for me. Uh, just the display was terrible compared to the 7300. Um, other than that, like the radio wasn't too bad, and then I had a problem with the tuner, and then I had a problem with the attenuator, and the list just goes on and on and on, you know. And then the fact that the tuner actually doesn't like automatically tune up if your SWR increases, it doesn't automatically follow you uh, throughout the band except for where you've ever been before, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, the tuner doesn't work on receive, which is a, a main thing with all the new Yasus. So. Now the 7300s, they have lots of problems, and people have burned up a lot of them, but it's usually, I think, probably because of misuse. Also, like, this isn't a radio that I would sit here and do FT8 on at 100 watts. Uh, I wouldn't even sit here and do FT8 on it at all, because I have lots of other radios that I can do FT8 on. And honestly, if I'm doing FT8, I don't need to be looking at a display, so that defeats the purpose of owning this radio. This radio for me is like a, uh, a radio that I use to check and scan the bands and look for DX and stuff like that visually and I don't have to tune through the entire band to see where people are at on the band so it's a sideband radio for me it's not um, doing RTTY or you know any of that other kind of stuff but it offers some stuff that you just don't get from the FT710 which is really good transmitted audio I mean you just don't you can't you can't you can't really match the audio out of this thing and uh, you know you can't adjust the waterfall and all that other stuff nearly as much on the um, 710 either you can't change the colors and stuff we're gonna get into that later I'll make some other videos but this is such an underrated radio in a lot of ways but it's been out for quite a while and most people don't use half the features that it has you know they just turn it on and they use it and they talk on it and they sound great and they and that's good enough Whereas the ASU, you really got to work for your money. You got to get it on the air. You got to get some people to listen to you on the air. And you've got to go through the parametric EQ and adjust the parametric EQ until you sound acceptable. Um, this radio just sounds phenomenal out of the box. I mean, but, you know, hope that you don't ever have to deal with ICOM because they're a bunch of pricks. So, anyway, I sold my um, uh, F uh, FTDX uh, 1200. And I basically got like I gave the guy a printer and something else and some other stuff I gave him a really nice Ender 3 printer with a BL touch on it uh, dual Z access uh, screws and all that it was easily you know it was upgraded to the modern screen it you know it had nocturne fans in it and stuff it was easily you know worth $200 to the right person um, and then even if you wanted to buy an Ender 3 Pro right now there's still 169 plus tax on Amazon so, you know, I gave him that in the radio, and I sold him all that stuff for 800 bucks. So I took the 800 bucks, I had another $400, and bought this. So that's another thing too I was going to tell you guys about. So if you live in a state that collects tax, I, don't, I really wish that HR would just like change how they word things. So the radio is 1399. And then they put the tax on top of the $13.99, which is $120. Okay, and if you don't believe me, I can show you my receipt. So then, 
Um, let me pull the receipt out of here. Just so we're not even debating this whatsoever. Okay. $13.99 tax, $120. Boom. That's right there, all right at once. Now the radio is $1,520.35. Now they subtract their $300 coupon. So, and, and now you're, you're going to pay $1,220. There is another $100 deal that you can do online, but so. But why they say that the discount price is $1,099.95 is beyond me. There is a little asterisk. Um, and it, it says after coupons and promotions, but really it's not. So if, if we were to exclude all of this mumbo jumbo crap and subtract $300 um, from the untaxed price, then yes, it would be that price. So, but the price that you're going to pay plus the tax isn't going to be $1,099. And you're not getting $1,099 plus tax either. So when I see this, I think it's going to be uh, $1,099 plus tax. But it's not. It's $1,399 plus tax minus um, my, minus that $300. And, well, I guess actually I must have made a mistake here. So with you, you, you're getting potentially $400 off the price of this radio. So, off of the price of thirteen ninety nine, but you're going to pay lots of tax. So you're going to pay one hundred twenty dollars in tax, whether you like it or not, if you're in a tax state. So then it'll be a thousand ninety nine. Okay, then you would basically get another hundred off if you do their online thing it's just so confusing but what it is is it's, it's a really good way to advertise and you know we all think well oh man that's a really good deal that radio is only a thousand bucks actually it's not it's 1100 and actually it's not really you know you just you're getting tricked kind of because you're you're buying a, a eleven hundred dollar radio basically minus five cents and you're paying your tax on a fourteen hundred dollar radio minus five cents, so you know it, it's not what it seems. So I mean, as you see, I paid twelve hundred dollars with tax. So when I bought my um, my seven ten, it was um, arranged a little differently, but same kind of scheme. So thirteen ninety nine, one hundred twenty dollars in tax. Now the price is uh, fifteen. So the price is going to be 15 15 20 and 35 cents now we're going to pull that out of there okay now if we exclude the price that you paid for tax you know then the price will look a little nicer but it, it's just i i don't really care for how they do this um now if we go in here and we look up the 710 so here's the 710 AES. I didn't buy the AES. I bought the other one. They have a $200 Yesu coupon. A 155 HRO Summer Spectacular coupon. Now, you're going to pay the tax on this radio also at um, $1299.95. Now, I thought one of these came off first. Like, I think the 155 HRO will actually come out of here. And then they charge tax. But, I don't remember. And, like I said, I didn't buy that one. I bought the other one. It's not showing up here. I bought the field. I just thought, well, you know, I've heard people really don't care for that speaker. I don't want it. So, where the hell is the damn thing? You know, I've used all these radios. I sat down in the store and I've used them all. And 
what I find that I really do like, I do like the 101, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's for the money. I really don't care for it. Um, it's a super nice radio. It's just a lot of money. Um, the 7610, I think I like a little bit better. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. Um, also, I know the audio on the 7610 is going to be spanking right out of the box. This is not. I've, I've heard these brand new. They're, they don't sound good. Okay, so let's go 710. Search 710. We should be able to pull up the field pretty easily. Okay, field. So this price is actually on sale. Mine, mine was $899 uh, or something like that. So that's actually a good deal. Now would be a pretty good time to buy one of these, I think. We won't see them cheaper, I think, probably till uh, Black Friday. Um, so, but what's nice about this is this is 1199 so you're gonna pay the tax on that. And then, uh, yeah, 125 from HRO, 200 from Yesu. It's really, it's, it's like super hard to beat this price. I mean, like, if I was brand new, I would not buy a 7300. I would definitely buy this radio. And I would be happy with it. You know, I really would. I mean, this radio's got so much good stuff, but I just don't like how it sounds on the thing, and I, I wish that they gave you more control of adjusting the waterfall. Like, for example, I'll show you in here. So, so you see all that green in there? I can go in here, and I can change, like, the colors for the scope and... I need to get that part out of there, but. So, you can adjust all these colors and change them in this part and that part. With the, um, the ASU, you can't do that. So the waveform color, we come in here, we could go, well, I don't want it that color, we're gonna make it yellow. Or I'm gonna make it orange. that not really jumps out at you you cannot do that you cannot do that on the AC not even in a little bit can't even come close to doing that so that's actually pretty cool I was trying to remember I made a video on this some time ago I was trying to remember how I did it Wonder what that would look like. Um, this is all from my solar. So, this is what I, I really like about this radio, the ability to, to change these things. So you can change all three of these colors, the the decay in the background, the main part, and an outline around it. Uh, I'm not sure how much you can change that part, I can't remember. I need to take the plastic off of this. I'm not a big fan of ripping plastic off of these, I don't really get anything out of that. I try and leave it on there for as long as possible because actually what it does is it protects the screen. And really, if you're serious about your radio, you should probably put a screen protector on it of some kind. That way, if something does come in contact with it, it'll scratch the screen protector and not the screen, and you can replace it. You know, it's also nice because it just keeps the grease and grime off of the, the screen. So usually what I'll do is I'll lift up this thing a little bit. It's on here kind of tight. And I'll just push it up into here. Um, and just leave it on there. I don't really care. I want to protect the screen. I'm not necessarily concerned about how the radio looks as far as I'm using it, you know. Alright, let's go in here and change this. Alright, we have a really purpley color. Let's 
super orange. That might be interesting. And then we'll leave it like that for now. Anyway, it's kind of cool. So, this is one of the reasons I like this radio. Also, this radio has a little what I call a little bit more intuitive menu, like kind of. There's actually one and two on here. I don't know what that. I don't remember that. But um, there's the SWR graph meter here. The way that works is really simple. You push play down here. You see what your steps are. You see where you're at. There's your frequency. You're gonna see five bars. I want more than five bars. Okay, so let me do it. Okay. I want higher resolution. We're looking at now. As we go more bars, we're looking at more res resolution. 3805 to 3925. So the highest we can go is 13 bars. Okay. Our step is, is 10 kilohertz. We can change that. 50. So the bottom of the band to way above the top of the band. Okay. We want to look at the entire band. And we're going to push play. And then we'll take our microphone, let's key it up, and each time we do that, the radio transmits for a second. And it will go as far as it can go to the band limit. And I'm actually tuned on 20 meters, so we'll take it and change it again. We'll push this again. See, this tells me right here, oh! Um, where am I at? Bring my thing over here. Oh, 3781. That's where the antenna wants to resonate at a little over 1.5. This is a loop antenna, so it's not, you know, going to be like one to one. And this is a very valuable tool for those that don't have things like nano VNAs or you don't want to fiddle around and, and, and drag it out to check it. So, this is what I really like about this particular radio. There you go, 100K, 500K. So you do 10. You get maybe a little more accuracy, see? So, there's just things that this radio does. Um, it's also got the speech. So, really, really nice radio for the money. Uh, I highly recommend both of them for new hams, you know, I really do. And for seasoned hams, if you don't already have one, most people do. <laughs> I mean, how many? think about how many of these you hear on the radio. So anyway, I decided I wanted another one, so I bought another one. So there you go, guys.